I'm Ari and I have a thrifting problem. I usually don't do um, video thrift hauls. I usually just post them on, on my blog. Um, but I thought, hey, why not change that? Because I really enjoy thrift haul videos uh, on YouTube. And maybe my readers and viewers and all viewers do so too. And um, yeah, this is why I'll do both in the future. So you don't have to watch the video. <laughs> to see what I've um, what I've thrifted or hunted down uh, over the month um, but uh, you can so um, today this one is a very special uh, thrift haul it's a specialized haul basically um, because well my boyfriend and I we went and we wanted to buy a mirror now you say what's so special about the mirror well, it's not about the mirror. So, um, we went to the thrift store, basically down the road, five minutes by bike. Um, and we got there half an hour before they were about to close. Um, and we said, hey, this is not a problem, the thing is not that big, so we'll just go in there, look for a mirror, um, go by the um, clothes corner, and then check out the small stuff near the counter and then go home um and we went in and looked for a mirror and we found one and then we turned around and wanted uh and, and wanted to look at the clothes corner and well it was gone it was gone and instead of instead of um coat hanger hangers full of well sometimes very very dubitable uh, stuff um there was a corner full of um tables with all sorts of dishware uh, and a big fat sign saying discount on pottery one wire fat one big fat shopping wire basket 10 euros and my boyfriend looked at me completely deadpan and said we're doomed and, well, he was right. We're both LARPers, so um, naturally we have a weakness for pottery. And this is, so this is a pottery thrift haul. Uh, we, we came home with um, two tote bags and a shoulder bag and a backpack and one coat pocket full of stuff. Um, so yeah, this deserves its own haul. I'll start off with uh, this little piece. It is an oil lamp. The camera doesn't uh, pick up the color too well, but you might be able to um, to see it's a sort of very dark teal color and has those um, stripy things here. And it was made in Andreasburg, wherever that is, in a pottery there. So it's obviously handmade, which is really nice. I'm going to use this for my LARP encampment. <clears throat> encampment, because you can never have enough oil lamps. Well, item number two is... This picture. We've wanted a picture since we've uh, moved here because we both drink a lot of, um, of tap water and we wanted something to place on the dinner table so we don't have to get up all the time to refill our glasses. Um, and we wanted something that had more than one liter, which this obviously has. I'm guessing around two, which is okay, which should last us about an evening and it has this really cute uh, floral um, floral pattern on it uh, and especially here at the handle I really like this detail the only thing I'm uh, I'm a little bit anxious about 
is the handle because it's rather dainty compared with the rest. Um, and it's uh, the style is um, a little bit like Hessian uh, Hessian uh, pottery. Um, there's this uh, very distinctive style of grey pottery where with blue uh, embellishments from Hesse. Uh, this is not it. It's not grey enough. It's more of a beige dead mouse kind of color. Uh, but um, it reminds me of home, so hey, cool. <laughs> Looks like fern. I really like that. In the big picture, um, we stored this tiny picture. It's um, really, uh, you, you can really see that it's handmade. Um, it's a little bit wobbly, but I think that's on purpose. And it has um, some sort of marking down on the bottom, which uh, might indicate it's, it's an, an I or a J dot ST. So um, I'm guessing this is from a pottery course because well, when we did pottery at school, we had to uh, sign our names on the bottom of things, so or on the back, so they could identify who made what. So it's probably handmade from something like that. And um, I'm not sure if I'm using it as a little vase or something else, but it's definitely mine, and I think it's cute. Uh, you can see that the... Um, the glaze is a little bit uneven, but I think this makes it even more um, interesting. I, I really like that. It's a little bit babi sabi. Next item we brought home was this um, this uh, stoneware bottle. It's pretty basic, but um, we always need those for LARP. They are great drinking bottles. You can prop up a candle with that if you want to but I'm personally I'm a fan of those for drinking purposes because they look much more um, fitting for the ambience than any glass bottles at least for my group but um, this looks far less modern and uh, it's actually more um, more in uh, in tune it's more in tune with the characters because they d wouldn't have the money for uh, glasswares actually um, or not as many glasswares. So we have this and it actually has some sort of finger thumbprint around here in the glaze. Um, so it's probably uh, at least partially handmade too, which is really nice. This is another, is a bowl for my uh, lab group. Probably, so we'll just use it for fruit or, or uh, vegetables, or maybe, I don't know, for sweets, because we have a sweet tooth, we're basically eating all the time. No, we're not hobbits. Um, yeah, I, I like this style of, uh, of tableware very much. It doesn't look very modern. It looks a little bit, just a tiny little bit, um, actually it's the wrong color. Uh, like um, Terrasigilata, which would be uh, your Roman dishware, um, ancient Roman dishware. Uh, but this is far more crude. This is what um, people in Roman times would probably use, have used to um, to cook. So this is um, hardy enough to resist fire if you warm it up properly and um, yeah I really like it it's rather simple but uh, I think it will um, find uses in our everyday lives too because we're that kind of people there's no use buying stuff and then just having it rot away in the basement so. okay um this one is Scandrels, Scandrels uh, equivalent to this bowl. It's yet another bowl. I'm not too fond of this kind of um, pottery. I think it looks a little bit too finished, but he likes it very much. Um, so, hey, I'm totally down with that. Uh, 
this is actually um, this is actually uh, industrially made. So um, while well, the other things that uh, are especially for me um, are more handmade, this is probably industrially made, but it's really nice too. And if you find something like this, it's also not the worst pick you can have for LARPing dishware. It's rather big. Um, we'll probably use it for uh, here at home for uh, fruits or something like that. Fruit. Fruit. There is no plural of fruit. Another thing for Scoundrel. It's a new bow for one of his characters, uh, Clodwin, who is a fighting monk kind of type. Um, yeah, this um, wouldn't fit one of my characters, but it, it fits uh, his very, very well. It has this nice little gradient here. This is not a uh, trick of the lighting, but this is actually happening here. Um, and it's very matte on the outside, and, but it's, it's glazed on the inside. It's really cute. Um, it fits his character very well, because he comes from this... Uh, more high fantasy um, background, which is kind of evolved compared to my background, um, which isn't. It's complicated. Next thing is another one of those Clotherwin bowls. So next up is um, this bowl. And it's for my personal purposes. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for LARP or just here around the house as my personal usually cereal bowl. I really like it. It's glazed in a really pretty way, pretty early colors. Um, it has a stamp on the back, which I can't really um, decide if it says Anton Lanz? Lanz? Who knows, it's probably the potter. Um, but yeah, you can tell this is not being, uh, this has not been made in a pottery course. This is probably um, from professional, but it's handmade, which you can see at, uh, by looking at the stamp. It's a, prof a professional pottery stamp. They have used those since, you know, ages BC. Sorry, that's the archaeologist talking. Make me happy. Da schneide ich vielleicht nicht auf. Das auch nicht. Nein, you look like a dog. Was für ein Ding ist das? Und das ist eine Steckrübe, die haben nur die Sorte. Oh, sonst noch irgendwas, was mich wundert. Das ist ein Salat und... Schlöd? Tomaten? Möchtest du Mozzarella oder Spaß zu machen? Ich will eigentlich Mozzarella oder Spaß machen. Okay. Hey, machst du die Tür zu? Danke. So, that was my boyfriend. He's just um, going to the supermarket. Okay, ähm... Um, I was wrong, we didn't have two tote bags, we only had one. Which is perfectly okay, by the way, because we only have 60 square meters. We're actually already at the end of the haul. It seems so much, but actually it is a lot of stuff. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, next are these cute teacups. We really like those... Um, handmade styles. Uh, we both grew up in households which had very mix and match um, or probably only mix um, uh, dishwares so we really like those. They're probably yep, they are handmade too. Um, they will probably go on our tea shelf which has little hooks on the bottom so we can actually hang our teacups there as I promised already I'll do a room tour at some point um, they have these really nice glazes in all kinds of earthy colors 
and a little bit of watery colors and this um, kind of wild egg, quail egg kind of um, spotty thingy glaze pattern stuff. Yeah, we have two of them. Um, and last but not least, we have this. It is a... Uh, okay, what do you call that in English? Um, so, last but not least, we have this um, teapot warmer, which is really... I had to look that up. Dear Anglophone World, this is literally one of the most boring, boring terms ever. It's a teapot warmer. Of course it's a teapot warmer, but isn't that a little bit prosaic? I mean, okay, um, yeah, well, in German we call those things uh, Stöfchen. We call those things Stöfchen or Stöfchen, um, depending where you come from. Uh, can't you call this a stuffling or something? Or a stuffy? Let's make stuffling a thing. Um, yeah, Stufchen. Uh, Stufchen. Because we're close to northern Germany. It uh, actually depends on who you are. Yeah, well, um, this matches our new teacups, obviously. It's from the same pottery. Yeah, and that's about it. Well, there are a few things uh, we got to, but, but um, those are either for uh, my other thrift haul, my usual monthly thrift haul, um, because this is just a specialized pottery thing. Or Christmas presents for people who might watch this. So um, I'm not showing in, showing them. I'm not showing them on the end. So I hope you kind of like my first very, very, very rambly thing. I might just do this again, um, and you will tune back in. Bye bye.